All right, guys, so got some interesting news lately. We uh sitting here close to some birthday party decorations because my kid just turned one. And then at face value, <clears throat> the Elite Series Anglers just got a present. So no entry fees for 2025 on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Ever, I was just like everybody. Whenever you got that email, everybody's like, heck yes, dude. No entry fees. That's the step the sport needs to take. It's been tried before. Bass is not the first ones to do it. It's been tried before. It did not stick. But it's definitely a good step. So, had a little bit of time now to think about it. Talked to quite a few anglers on it. What do you think, Hunter? We'll get your opinion first before I get into it with mine. Uh, first, I just want to say that whenever... You didn't even have to read the email or open anything that said it because you were going to know just by the sheer amount of phone calls. I mean, the phones were like going off. Like it was Wolf of Wall Street up in here. Yeah. I mean, they were just buzzing. It was like open the market. Yeah. Going off. Yeah. So what do you think? I think it's a step in the right direction. For sure. No entry fees. Yeah. Payouts are? Not as good. Not as good. Non-existent. That's polite. Yeah, non-existent. So, without looking at the payouts, this is good. Obviously, it's a good step. Whenever you factor in the payouts... Usually, like, you're like, oh my god, we want to get a check. Let's just make a check. Let's get in the 50. Let's get in the 50 cut to make a check. And now it's like, if you get in the 50 cut, it's like 500 bucks. <clears throat> Nobody... 40th. 40th is? Mm -hmm. 500? Mm -hmm. So, what's the 50 cut? Zero. No 50 cut, 40 cut. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, just, just like, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, we made the 40 cut, we get 500 bucks. I know. It's not, it's not good. But. Kyle's been setting gas in a day and a half. I do spend a lot of gas, especially in practice on some of these big bodies of water. I, I agree. The payouts are not where they need to be. Um, obviously, everybody wants the payouts to stay how they were and have no entry fees. Is that not possible? It's not possible with the amount of money that Bass puts into the payouts. Bass has always put back 3.6. I think the worst year they've paid back since I've been on the Elite is 3.6. Could have been 3.5. <coughs> I, I think it's 3.6. What? It could make it a little more equal and it be more of a, a professional sport, like where you just get paid. Mm -hmm. What if it wasn't 100K and it was trickled down a little That's how it should be. Because then it would yeah. be like, winning is not that big of a deal, and it's just more of a professional sport where you get paid for your place. Yeah. You know? I'm not 100% sure in other professional sports, but people get paid like a, a lot, and then bonuses for winning, which is typically less than their salary. Yeah. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I know some, some coaches and stuff may get huge bonuses for winning, but I don't think so. I've heard about some of these, like, College coaches, their bonuses for winning SC championship and stuff, it may be like eight hundred thousand, but their yearly salary is ten times that. You know, so who knows? Let's take a look. He's going trick or treating tonight. So he's a little little curious sucker. Look at him. Look at him. Hey. Tell him hey. Say. Wave at the camera. He's curious, boy. He's one. And he runs around the house. I'm talking about full speed ahead. He runs everywhere. And he uh, is curious. Very curious. And he destroys wants, everything he in wants, his path. He don't try to destroy. He's not seeking and destroying. He just picks stuff up, forgets where it goes, and puts it somewhere else. But he's very curious. There's a lot of stuff on the table beside me, and he wants to... We've got a lot of rolls of wine out of the bathtub. He throws everything in the bathtub. He likes throwing stuff in the bathtub for whatever reason. But... Ah, ah, ah. He's so cute. It's precious. Absolutely precious. This past year has flown by. Everybody tells you that time goes by so fast when you have kids. And it is 100% true. It's almost like there's this weird fog. There's this fogginess around time now that you have a kid. And it just goes by so fast. And it's like you don't even remember what you were doing for the year. It just flies by. But anyways, back to the payouts. You know... The way I think about it is, I have to pay those entry fees to run my business for the next year. I have, I'm very lucky, I have phenomenal sponsors, great sponsors. I mean, they 
that our relationship with all them sponsors is phenomenal. And I'm fortunate to be able to say that's where my living comes from, is the sponsors, not the tournament winnings. I've had years where I've did really good in tournaments, I've had years where I didn't, and it's up and down. But the sponsors is where the money comes from. So it's not really a kill shot to professional anglers because the tournament winnings is not really where the money comes from. The money, most of the money comes from sponsors. I would say almost all of the money that people live on comes from sponsors. That's just how it is. Unless you win. Yeah, I mean, unless you win, and nobody wins every single year, even the best in the world. I mean, <coughs> there's one guy, Jacob Wheeler, who wins every single year, it seems like, but outside of him, there's almost nobody that wins every single year. So, you know, there's a lot of variance in the business that you run as far as the tournament winnings. So, <coughs> They just kind of pay for like your hotel and your gas. And stuff. If you do good, like if you can break even, you know, on, on entry fees are obviously a lot. Expenses is over 20 grand. If you can do good enough in the tournaments to cover your entry fees and your expenses and make a little, you, did, you had a really good year, really good year. But, you know, that's just part of it. Like that's just how it is. The sponsors foot the bill for the industry. And we're all super appreciative for them. That's why y'all see us working so hard for our sponsors and promoting them as much as we possibly can because they make all this possible and then also the audience that i have all my friends out there that watch all the time they they make it possible for me to get some of these sponsors so i appreciate that and i appreciate y'all if y'all are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe That's but what we work for we don't work for bass we work for our sponsors oh bass is not my employer yeah, yeah but i'm not employed by bass like i'm i just show up to their functions like they're not an employee of mine i don't feel like like Lisa Talmadge is a tournament director, and I don't feel like she's my boss. I feel like we're kind of peers, and she has one job, and I have another job. I ask her because she has the final say in if, if things are allowed or not allowed or, if, or what the rules are. So I have an open line of communication with her, and I take her advice during the tournaments. But I never feel like anybody at Bass is my, my boss because I don't work for them. It's not like whenever you're an NFL player and you play for a team, that team is paying you. That team is now your boss. You have to follow their guidelines. And to participate in the tournaments, I have to follow Bass's guidelines, but they don't pay me a salary, so they're definitely not my employer. But, you know, they're, they're making the, the correct step. The anglers want no entry fees. Everybody wants no entry fees, but we want no entry fees and still have the potential to make money fishing. We're all extremely competitive. I love fishing tournaments. I don't fish tournaments for the money. I go out here on a Saturday against six boats, seven boats. I fished one this year against three boats. It was me and two other guys, and I was just so excited to be out there because I knew they was going to bite, and they did. But I like fishing competitively. I don't care about the money. That's the last thing on my mind is the money. So I've never a single time on the water thought about the money. I've never thought about I need to get this 10 grand check. I've thought about a lot, I need to catch one more to make the top 50 because then I get to go again tomorrow and have an opportunity to move up some more. I've never thought about I need to get this 10 grand check. I've never thought about I need to swing for the fences because or I need to do something, go run new water to try to win because it's 100,000. I've done those things to try to win because I'm competitive, not because of the money. So the money to me is... We are blessed to be able to see that way though. Yeah. It, it is kind of like a privilege. But even whenever we didn't have sponsors, I wouldn't think about the money. Yeah. Never. But now, if you make the 40 cut, that's not a living. If you make no, every no, 40 no, cut, no, no, no. you can't even make no, it. No, no. You'll be in six for AOI. Yeah, and have like Fifth, like fourth for AOI, grand. maybe. And you'll make uh, 4500 plus uh, 6000 for AOI. So come in 40th all year against the elites. Two and grand. I'm telling y'all, when I come home, some of my buddies, a lot of people around me, they're like, man, you didn't catch them that good this week, and I might have come in like 35th. Like, you didn't catch them this good that week. What happened? And I'm like, 35th in the elites is catching them. It's good. It's hard to do. It's really hard to do. These guys are phenomenal. Everybody on the elites basically has won more than me. You know, like, that's, the guys are phenomenal. What you want, boy? He's running around the house. But, uh, Anyways, to get that $45,000 entry fee off of me, it reduces the variance because I pay that in no matter what. And then I may win it back or I may not. I usually have. One year, this year I didn't. I didn't win, I didn't win all my entry fees back plus expenses this year. I came 
seven thousand dollars short or five thousand dollars short or something something around there but you know for the most part if you win it all back you, that's what you're normally going to do but you got to pay that money out and then win it back you know so now you don't have to pay that money out and win it back but it's going to be in my opinion there will be less people profit one dollar this year than last year last year i bet there was more people that profited one dollar than will this year now the guys who crush them this year whoever goes on the aoi run this year yeah they consistently top 10 they're going to make a lot of money this year and they're they're going to crush it but i think it's going to be a very small subset of people year to year it's not going to be anybody year after year year to year somebody's gonna get on a run and make a ton of money with very little overhead and very little expenses and I think there's going to be less people. This is pure speculation, but I believe there'll be less people profit. One dollar, and I'm saying one dollar as in just profit. There'll be less people profit under this new thing, is my opinion. But there'll be less people. Now, nobody will lose more than $25,000 in a year. And that's straight expenses. So, if you don't get it, if you come in 103rd in every single Elite Series tournament next year, you're, you're going to lose twenty five. dollars Twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. What is that hotel and gas? Yeah. You could really narrow down hotels a lot too. Could you share and stuff? Well, that's it. It's going any way you spin it. It's going to be five grand for hotels, and then six or seven grand for gas. That's on a very cheap. Yeah. Then you got to eat, which you got to eat at home. You got to buy some some tackle, some rods, or you know everybody don't got to buy rods, but you got to buy some tackle. Every company, I'm sponsored by Rapala Crest City. We have almost everything under the sun, but some baits I have to buy that's just made by different companies that we don't have. You know, like I gotta buy chatter baits, I gotta buy spinner baits and buzz baits and stuff like that. You know, plopper style baits, all those types of baits I still have to buy. But you know, like it's not a ton throughout the course of the year. But if you want to do it super super cheap, yeah. But I'm just saying on the top end, nobody's gonna lose more than twenty five thousand dollars next year. And that's good because they could have lost seventy thousand. Some people lose sixty to seventy thousand a year fishing, and now they're not going to do that. But there's going to be less people profit, so it's going to be a little bit less performance based and a little bit more about sponsors. The burden is going to fall. The burden's already on the sponsors, but the burden now is going to shift to the anglers to where the sponsors now are all of your income or. Now they're 90% of your income instead of 60% of your income. So that's going to make it where we're going to have to be full-time influencers. That's what it's going to become. But anyways, I like the step. I just don't like where the payouts are right now. But hopefully we can, we can up those and bring in some more sponsors and get that where it needs to get in the next year or two. So sooner than later. Do you think if you said right now you could not buy another tackle no line rods nothing for next year do you think you could do it zero dollars next year me yeah you couldn't buy anything else just what you have oh absolutely yeah you think you do yeah then why you be why, <laughs> why, why would you get boxes every day we get weird stuff stuff to try you gotta you gotta honestly say throughout the tournament season i don't get that many but in the fall i get stuff to try and I test a lot of stuff in the fall. New baits, you know, new, all kinds of new stuff. New crank baits, new jerk baits, all kinds of stuff. And I try them in the fall. I don't order a lot of stuff for the, for the year. Like during the tournament season, I don't. I'm super lucky. I use all Sunline. I use all 13 rods and reels. I mean, if none of them sent you anything, you think you'd be fine next year? Oh, if none of them sent me nothing. Yeah, no sponsor sends. <laughs> I need some soft baits from Crest City. <laughs> for sure. I need some more hedgehogs, some mooch minnows, some freeloaders, some cleanup crawls. I need some restocks on those, but what about worms? I got enough rods and reels. I got enough worms. I got, you know, a lot of stick baits. Got a lot of pig sticks, and I got a lot of actual, you know, sinkos. But uh, for the most part, I think that I could get by on the rods I have now for sure. I've got enough. I'd like to get more, but uh, yeah, I could probably do it. I could probably do it. Without scoping, I definitely could do it. Kyle got in a boat yesterday. 
Oh, easy, easy. We're unveiling this later. I got a different boat. Different. <coughs> got a different boat <coughs> than last year. So, we're going to do a whole big in-depth walkthrough. It's a head turner. Everybody loves this thing. Everybody that's seen this boat says it's beautiful. And it is beautiful. We're uh, rigging it out right now, doing some things differently on this boat. And uh, also, if anybody we'll have a video buy soon. A boat, we got three, three for sale. <laughs> do got some boats for sale. If, I do have if some. If you want the bandit, we'll sell no. the, the icon from no. last year. No. We're not selling the bandit. I'm just We're not selling the bandit. Okay. But the icon that I fished out of this, this year, it is going up for sale. Then I have another boat. The year the AOI boat is actually going up for sale also. So uh, those two boats will be for sale. But I did get a new boat. Also, Hunter, I don't think we've addressed this other big change in the MPFL. No forward facing sonar. Oh, yeah. I haven't addressed this, I don't believe. What's your take on that? Ladies first. I love it. You love it. I also want y'all to know one thing. Another thing. If Kyle can win AOI, he won't have to pay at all next year. I'm going AOI. Oh, you are? We gotta go smash with Murray. Yeah. Confidence is key. Sorry, Drew. We gotta go. I love Drew. Drew's a phenomenal fisherman. And if I don't win it, I hope Drew wins it. For sure. Like, I'm rooting for him, but I'm about to go win this thing. I'm just saying that would be cool if we had two, a whole year with no entry fees. I didn't even fees. think about that. That's crazy. Yeah. Fish two tours. No entry fees. No entry fees. Yeah. That would be cool. For sure. So, let's make that happen. That's got to make that happen on Murray. But no forward face on our Hunter's obviously a fan. Hunter does not like scoping. We go fishing. Don't matter how many we're catching. Remember that day was on me down? We caught like 100. Hunter did not want to get, she did not want to stand up. I'm like, there's 40 under the boat. You'll catch one every drop. She's like, take me to that dock. Let me skip this jig under there. So, I get it. I understand. The MPFL is kind of trying to find their niche in the sport. And I think it's good for them to, to do that. I, I do think it's a good move on their part. I've heard other anglers say that it's going to kill the organization. I don't think so. I think there's enough people that want to fish without it. And even the guys at MPFL, they're, like, they're not like, look, we hate forward-facing sonar. They're just like, look, our vision for our league is different than this. And this is what we want to do. We want to try to carve out a thing to be unique and be different. And the people who want to watch, you know, those types of tournaments are going to tune in and going to watch. I think the two most viewed videos on Bassmaster for the past two years, if Steve Kennedy catching an eight-pounder on a frog at Okeechobee, and then Steve Kennedy catching a four-pound spot or three-and-three-quarter-pound spot on Smith on a glide bait, people like that kind of stuff. That's what has the viral content. People like it. I like it. you got to admit you like it. The, the live scoping is fun. It's cool. You get to see them. It makes you dial in bodies of water the information comes at you so much faster but there is something pure about fishing the bank or fishing the unknown of a bite that there is something cool about it obviously that's how i like to fish i fished almost all this year forward facing sonar and i didn't own a couple tournaments and basically just a couple but you know we, we went pretty much pretty heavy on forward facing this year and I'll do it again next year. Like, you just have to to compete in tournaments. But the NPFL, you do not have to, which is going to make it fun. But he's about to rip our blinds down, so we'll have to go. But I want to address that. No entry fees. Leave me a comment down below what y'all think. It's could be good long term. It will be good as long as the payouts come up year after year after year and they get better and better. Short term, the payouts aren't where they need to be, but that's okay. We get to operate our business for cheaper this year. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. We're going trick or treat.